Yvonne, I'm curious on your take about the current market, you know, in the Seattle area, how things are, where you see things going. Um, honestly, there's a there's definitely a shift in the market, right? And everyone that is um, again listening to the media and really just kind of honing in on right what the news is sharing, what everyone's talking about, and conversations at dinner tables. It's how's the market? You know, as soon as someone hears you're a, a real estate advisor, how's the market? What's happening? And it just comes back to conversations with people and really honing in on what is their need, what is their vision, and how can we help them navigate, right? Because everyone's situation is different. So if, you know, someone has just really amazing credit and so much equity in their home and they're wanting to sell and downsize, let's talk about that, right? There's ways to make it work where they don't have to, they're not affected by these high, high interest rates. Right. Um, there's tools and there's resources and it just comes back to, to really connecting with people and having those um, conversations with them. Talk about those types of sellers and buyers. Like what are the other advantages that they have going in now, taking that equity and doing a small mortgage or going cash? Like in a market where more inventory, where inventory is increasing and, um, you know, there seems to be less competition with other buyers and talk about their advantages. So um, I have, uh, you know, a few buyers that are, um, they have quite a bit of equity in their homes. And so they're, you know, looking to, to do some cash offers and all of that, but they're still listening to the media and kind of operating in that fear. And yeah. as soon as I kind of remove them from the, hey, the, the interest rates don't apply to you if you're coming in cash, like let's just turn off the noise and focus on what you want, what you need. And also there's all of, right, as soon as you have a cash buyer, cash is king. And it's definitely a time for helping a buyer to really get some of those concessions back and maybe lower uh, offer price than, you know, what the list price is. Um, really helping to to kind of put things back in their court um, where we're not having to waive contingencies. We're not having to, right that competition factor isn't there as much because they're coming in cash. So they're, they definitely have um, leverage. There's definitely, when it comes to a seller, it's just understanding some of those concessions and preparing them for what they might see. Right. And so it's just kind of a, it all comes back to like the dance of the, the whole real estate transaction and having those conversations. Um, and it should be a win-win. There should never be someone that is, you know, settling and, and, you know, walking away all mopey. It's just, it's a conversation. When you're talking about contingencies, okay, and, and the buyers, you know, strong equity situation when they're selling and buying, they have a good chunk of cash. Um, let's talk about those contingencies. What are those? Are you talking inspections? Are you talking, you know, appraisal? What exactly are you talking about? Waving uh, inspections, right? A different market. Buyers were waving inspections, waving all kinds of things just to be able to get that house. And so now yeah. buyers definitely don't have, they have some time, right? There's definitely um, ways that we can work some concessions uh, from the seller and have these buyers not having to waive inspections, not having to, to go in and have to repair all the things by themselves. Anything that you know comes up on an inspection report, sewer inspection, septic inspection, there's ways that we can definitely help those buyers where they're not out of pocket for those details. It doesn't always come back to you know, they're behind the eight ball. It's definitely a way for them to and to build their wealth. And it doesn't always have to look like their dream home, right? It could be a small, it could be a townhome, it could be a, con a condo or something that is uh, just a way to help them get down that path of building wealth. Mm -hmm.